Hey guys, Ron here. So over the last couple of months, I've had streams on YouTube where we fix some Pokemon shinies that chat or I believe are underwhelming, uninspired, or straight up garbage. I made three different versions based on viewer suggestions and my own knowledge of the lore, and chat voted on which was their favorite for each Pokemon. So here's the process and results of this endeavor. Our first shiny is Espeon. This is an example of a shiny I personally enjoy, but is fairly unpopular. There's literally no lore-related reason or reference made by this shiny, which makes sense back when sprites were literally just a palace swap without any actual intentions. Fix 1 was simple, this ethereal blue is mysterious and pleasing to the eye. Fix 2 was a fan favorite suggestion, you'll see that chat will always want to see a black version of any shiny mock-up, and Fix 3 was completely white to complement its light theme. We understood that the black one was a waste of a slot, so we decided to go back and replace it with a gold one. It ended up winning the final poll, cause it fits the theme and also gives off ancient vibes. Gold and blue are very complimentary as well. Next we're doing one of the worst shinies ever. I don't have to explain why. A top tier Pokemon like Garchomp deserves a top tier shiny. Naturally we made the first one black, it looks really good honestly, nothing controversial. People wanted a red Garchomp, but that ended up going in the direction of Garchomp's beta color scheme. And for the final one, I settled for a military green, almost like a helicopter or a warplane. And the beta color scheme design won with 52% of the votes. It's almost like a completely different Pokemon with these colors. Then we moved on to Gengar. It's impossible to tell the difference in most games. Naturally, the first one has to be a ghostly white, like its shiny mega form. Then the opposite, giving it the color of the shadows. And I thought green looked the best with black. Oh, that looks good! I just made like, oh, let's do something like this. Ooh, ooh. I mean, do I just like green a little bit too much? Is that just me? And finally, I thought this radioactive green was appropriate. It matches the other green ghosts in popular media too. With 60% of the votes, Black Gengar won. It's different enough and makes sense. Fun fact, Regice is the only shiny Pokemon card I have, and it's of a Pokemon whose shiny is indistinguishable from its normal color scheme. How about we make a white one, cause snow exists. Then, you guessed it, people wanted black ice, pretty intimidating. While people wanted yellow snow, I decided purple was a believable shiny Game Freak would have picked. The white Regice won. It's the most intuitive and natural of the three. Leafeon Shiny is worse than the original's magnificent color scheme. I like shinies that indicate seasonal changes in color, so the first one was an autumn version, then I made a bluer one to represent winter, and then a pink one for spring before going back and making the winter one more distinguishable. All are pretty and valid, but the white version won by 1% over the autumn one. I get it, it's, it's the coolest one, but Autumn could have won if I didn't stop the polls early. Blaziken's shiny is egregious in game. The home render though makes it slightly better, but let's make a snow version, blue and white, a black and yellow one like all fire type starters should get, and then the inverse of that since yellow and black seems like a popular combo, but number two dominated the poll with 50% of the votes. I agree, while the blue one was a childhood dream, this version ended up looking the best. Next we're tackling a tough one. I understand Game Freak not wanting to make a Pikachu that looks completely different so they can preserve the brand recognition of Pokemon's mascot, but let's pretend Game Freak made a version with a completely different color scheme for celebratory purposes or something. The first one that comes to mind is Blue Lightning. It's a little too radical though. People wanted an inverse Pikachu that was mostly red, but finally the white one with pink cheeks seems incredibly believable and even references the white Pichu that was scrapped. So it won with 65% of the votes. It's the most balanced, nothing off-putting, and it's still quite precious. Next is a Molga. Who would want the shiny? We're gonna pretty much do a similar thing we did with the Pikachu, but it'll work better with a Molga. A lightning blue is wicked sick, and this shade of green is electrifying. And then this magenta is cute, but the chat preferred red over magenta. I guess it resembles Pikachu. We got a whole RGB thing going on. But blue won with 45% of the vote. I too associate lightning with blue, and electric blue is the reason for that. Togekiss's shiny is extremely underwhelming. It's just the colors flipped with cream instead of uh, white. You wouldn't be able to notice the difference. But creating a believable shiny was really hard. The chat wanted black, but not only was that hard to do, but it, it made no sense. I made a golden version before changing the first one into a nice green and purple version, and then the final version was simply the original but with pastel tone. Very soothing. And yeah, the green and purple won by 50%, which I'm glad because it's the best looking one. Hair across is shiny is terrible, I just don't think it matches at all, and I think I have way better ideas. I've always wanted to see a darker hair across with green eyes, I love the combo of navy and green. Then we made an inverse Heracross with a gold body and blue eyes, and I'm biased when it comes to the emerald one. They all look good, but the second one won by 2% above the emerald one. It feels right though. It looks like ancient Egyptian beetle jewelry. Next is Scyther, a shiny you would mistakenly run away from if encountered. There are so many options. A red scissor colored Scyther, golden praying mantis, and exotic blue. But red won with 48% of the votes. It looks fierce, references its evolution, and the famous Electabuzz vs Scyther episode. 
It's Komo time. I think yellow and pink should never be shown together. Disgusting. But fixing this Pokemon shiny will be difficult. This navy and black combination makes it way more intimidating. It's ideal for stealth at night. The second one was the simplest. It was a version I made to look believable as a shiny Game Freak would have given it. Oh! That doesn't look bad! What is that? What am I looking at? Are you guys liking that? Or is that just, is that just me? And next, to fit in with the climate, we all wanted a green version with tan skin. It makes it look more militant as well. He looks feral, but the first one won with 46% of the vote. It is the scariest and most practical. Snorlax's shiny isn't terrible, but unambitious. We're gonna design shinies based on bears. The first one will be a black bear, then a brown bear, and finally a polar bear, which was super hard to do, Photoshop-wise at least. But it ended up winning with 56% of the vote. It does reference the famous Snorlax Snowman episode too, while looking the most appropriate and unique. Okay, for a starter, shiny Cinderace was not handled well looks like a roasted marshmallow. Let's make a black smoke version, it's pretty natural looking for a bunny. A cool blue version, it represents some kind of sports theme with those colors. But the third is Score Bunny if it was sponsored by some kind of sports energy drink. I'm glad it won with 44% of the vote, since it was my favorite. It, it looks energized. Jolteon is a disappointing shiny. It's not a good representation of the glory of green. Every electric type needs a chance to have an electric blue shiny, then one that is more pure, like an enlightened shiny. It looks refreshing. And then the third was tricky. Charred black with a yellow color definitely worked. The chat felt like the blue one was less interesting, so we made an even purer version, like a Jolteon God. And it won with 46% of the votes. I get it, this is extremely sick. Flareon shiny is straight up bad. A blue fire Flareon is definitely something we all want. Same thing with a black smoke version, and then a bright and saturated version that alludes to a hotter flame I guess. But as we expected, the black shiny won with 55% of the votes. It makes an infinite amount of sense and looks amazing. Like I said, I hate yellow and pink shinies, and people seem to agree Crobat needs an update. The first fix is inverted and reminiscent of its pre-evolved forms, then a black and radioactive poisonous bat, and then an albino Crobat was my own idea. Almost like it has a reason to be afraid of the sun, like this line slightly is. And by just 4% above the dark Crobat, light Crobat won. I'm glad when an extreme shiny also makes sense and isn't different for the sake of it. Shiny Avalog sucks, and as an Avalog fan, I feel like I should change it so it doesn't have yellow snow anymore. The first is pink, like a snow cone, then black ice was a cool concept, and gold only makes it cooler. And then as it should be a white snow version. The second one won with 56% of the votes. It's exactly what people like in a shiny. Now I don't like pink Pokemon that turn yellow. It looks like they have jaundice. I'ma base each fix on sour candy. A blue tongue, green tongue. <laughs> it looks like a it just looks like a guy! It just looks like a man! <laughs> it's just a fat guy. Let me make the the tongue uh, pink again though. And flesh-colored Lickitung who didn't eat any candy. And of course the blue one won because the flesh-colored one was an abomination. Malamar is one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. And while a putrid calamari color is appropriate, I prefer a non-puke green version. How about a black and red vampire version? And then a white, almost negative version. Looks evil and alien. And then finally an inverted version, since that's the entire concept of this contrary Pokemon. And the first fix won with 50% of the votes. It's appropriate, simple, and different enough. I agree. Typhlosion Shiny is pathetic. Blue fire is always the direction we want to go in. Then an inverted version with the patterns of a honey badger, and then a pink one that seems like something Game Freak would do. I didn't even need a poll. The first one was easily chat's favorite. Next is Bibarel. This shiny makes me cry. Let's make a godly golden version to reference the meme and red Bibarel that bathes in the blood of its enemies and Canada. And then a straight up black and white one, kind of alluding to old timey cartoons. But two won by a lot. 80% of the votes. People are people are sick. While X Cloud Shiny is irritatingly indistinguishable, I guess it does reference Wismer. But I've always wanted to see X Cloud with an obnoxious and loud color scheme. I love the shade of green. Next, I made a radioactive X Cloud and then a pastel colored one, kind of following the philosophy of the first. They're all magnificent, but radioactive one with uh, 52%. It's scary and cool. Definitely something that looks dangerous and unapproachable. Electivire Shiny needs a fix. The first one is what it should have been. We all know it. And then I played around with an inverse version, or a black version, but both ruined its expression. But then a radioactive one made the most sense. Then I asked the poll if they wanted full black or black and white, and not only did white win, but it won the entire contest. I get it, it looks like a lightning god and uh, white tigers, which also have blue eyes. Claydol Shiny is not that good. I gave it cooler tones with complimentary eyes, like the cold desert night. Next, a natural copper or clay colored clay doll. And then, since I get unsettled by black objects with white accents and vice versa, we'll make a white one with black accents. 
green eyes make it even more alien, and it won with 45% of the votes. It's the most radical change while keeping its mysterious aura. Is that too shiny is sad for a colorful Pokemon. I decided to use some Mesoamerican bright paint colors, and honestly, this combination of magenta, cyan, and yellow goes so good together. Then we did that for the other fixes, but with a different configuration, and then the last one won by 71% of the votes. It's close to the original while being radically different. I like this one a lot. Rusty Rhydon isn't the best shiny, the chat wanted a sapphire blue Rhydon so I gave it to him, then an obsidian black, and finally gold with pretty eyes. Gold won with 56% of the votes. It's pretty beautiful and believable. I'd assume this was the shiny already. Empoleon shiny is fine, but looks too tame in the 3DS games. We wanted a royal purple Empoleon, but that didn't really match, so I settled with magenta. I was experimenting with white Empoleon, and god damn did this just hit right. Ooh! That looks good! Am I overreacting? That looks cool! That was unexpected! Look at that! Am I wrong? Tell me if that looks good! Inverted Empoleon wasn't the best, so I made a more tropical tan version of the original. I like it a lot, but we all know that the white one with real penguin colors is where it's at, with 48% of the vote. Beautifly Shiny isn't the worst, just unexpectedly less colorful. We made a monarch butterfly colored one with darker black, a morpho green colored one, and then we tried to make a Dustox colored Beautifly, but it, it looked ugly. So we made a pastel colored version. The Auburn Monarch Beautifly won with 50% of the votes. Shift Tree Shiny isn't that precious, so naturally I made an Autumn version, a Cherry Blossom Spring version, and a Winter Night Shinobi version. A lot of people wanted a Red Tengu version, but the Navy Ninja version unexpectedly won. It looks like it would be hidden in the leaves. Berserker was tough. I think its Shiny is worse than the satisfying original. I ended up making a Red version, a cobalt version, and a pearl blue version. We tried a Minnesota Viking version, but uh, that was unrealistic. I went back and changed the beards of the first two to make them more interesting, but the final one was people's favorite in the end. It got 61% of the votes, because it does look desirable, almost like a clean version of the original. And finally, Necrozma Shiny isn't bad, just underwhelming for the Prism Pokemon that contains the entire spectrum of light inside of it. Yellow's not- I mean, they're all not bad. Oh, look at that! Oh, look at that! That's good. Nah, just straight up green, maybe? Look at that! God damn, did I like the emerald version. It looked delicious. Ruby completes the trio, and then for the final one, we made an inverted prism version. What I expected Shiny Necrozma to already look like. And it won by 62% of the votes. We ended off with a bang. So, if you want to let me know to make part 2, just leave a like if you enjoyed, and subscribe for a ton of Pokemon art videos. Check the description for the music I used, the t-shirts I made for you guys, and my Patreon where you can get cool rewards like seeing my videos days early. You can also get rewards by clicking the join button to become a member. Follow me on Twitter and on Instagram to see the final artworks of my Pokemon, and uh, bye!